Gel dur gel Cener gel. Hey guys, welcome back. Another day. Yes, I actually really want to talk to you about something that I actually read um, in my little diary. It's from Fear to Freedom, and it's about do you in do you laugh? No. <laughs> Do you have enough reasons to laugh? And I, everybody knows that I love to laugh out loud and there are moments when I laugh that I'm in tears. My body's all shaken up and I've, I've cried during my laughing stages. So I, I go into a laugh, a fit, a, a, a laughter fit. <laughs> That's one of those that I, you literally I can't control me that I'm just in tears. So the reason why I had said the question, do you have enough reasons to laugh? It is because I lost for a period of time how to laugh like that. I lost a period of time where I didn't feel that I was well happy and in that state, that peak state. <laughs> and... I find that laughing, just as much as smiling, laughing is contagious and it changes your whole world. And I believe that each and every one of us should be laughing, should be laughing constantly. And I remember one of my mentors, Miss, Mr. Muramatsu Masumi, he was the age of 80 at the time and... He snowboards with his great grandkids, which is phenomenal, and that's something that I would like to do at the age of 80, surfing with my grandkids. <laughs> but the point was, he he was actually living in Japan, and he was an interpreter for the prime president of Japan. He translated everything in English, but he also was the negotiator. Oh, what do you call him? Um, the face of and I suppose the connector to the universities in Japan and on the side what he did was he set up a a funny club a comedy club just where he shares Australian humor oh humor humor class that's what it, that's what it was humor class and he loves the Australian uh, humor and he wanted to share that amongst the culture over there and he believes laughter laughter is his way of of giving and sharing uh, to his his friends and family so he set this up and it had helped a lot of people who were going through these emotional stages and every time I see him he's got this like he's a short man, I suppose. How, what, is, what is short? He's probably about 145 centimeters tall, um, full body. He was a baldy, he had glasses, but he had this shine glow on his face and he had this smile from ear to ear. And every time I'd meet him, he'd. he'd, he'd He'd always have a smile in his conversation, always. And I absolutely loved about that, about him. Anyway, so going back to laughter, with his belief and his principles of sharing laughter, sh sharing happiness, that's, that's within my values. And I want to share that here with you guys because it's important that you guys at least smile or laugh. And I had written in my book, which I'll open up now, to share with you the reasons and the benefits that I found laughing again. Because I found who I was again, and I become quite a childlike person, very playful. And my little girl, if you know her, if you've met her, and you've hung out with her, you know she's just radiating and oozing with energy. It's just this laughter. Like when you when you get to when she gets to be more familiar with you and get to know you, she's just this high energy child that just makes you smile. She doesn't know, she doesn't stop smiling, she doesn't stop laughing and I am grateful that she's become who she is actually.
beautiful little girl. Anyway, so my reasoning for laughter. Laughter relaxes your whole body. So did you know that if you're laughing for quite some period of time, after 45 minutes, it actually relaxes the tension and the muscles in your body. And this, this relieves the physical tension. That's what it does. And that's a very good benefit. Benefit number two, laughter triggers the release of endorphins. So you get this natural feel good chemical. Don't we want that all the time? <laughs> Endorphins promote an overall sense of well-being. And I so agree. I feel like I've got high energy than I ever have been because I'm constantly laughing, constantly smiling. It's just that, that feel-good feeling that happens. Even when I'm having a situation where a frustration that happens, I just have to stop and really realise there's so much more to life. Why am I putting all this energy into something that's not going to work? If you try to fix things, then you're trying. But if you turn the situation around and if you smile, you know, I, I feel that I, my energy level goes boosts up. So if I'm in a frustrated moment, I'm going to get frustrated and I'm going to go down that. <laughs> Right, I'm being frustrated, and that's not gonna help. So if I just take a breather, smile, and laugh for a bit, going, hold on, this is funny. What's funny about it? So just, just turn that because what it does is it, it, that feel good, feel good feeling starts to kick in, triggers endorphins. Okay, so laughter boosts, boosts the immune system, so it decreases stress hormones and increases bodies production of white blood cells and infection fighting antibodies thus improving your resistance to disease jeez I must have got this off the encyclopedia somewhere <laughs> so laughter boosts the immune system I'm gonna laugh all the time now you know what I believe laughing and smiling makes you so much younger and I remember at the Anthony uh, Tony Robbins event they said that it's an anti-aging thing <laughs> that explains why I'm so young. No, just kidding. <laughs> I thank mum for my genes too, by the way. Oh, okay. So my fourth one that I've written here, laughter improves the function of blood vessels and increases blood flow, which can help protect against heart attack and other cardiovascular problems. Ding, 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 ding. I'm going to be laughing all the time. <laughs> now, I've already written here. Ah, okay. So, ways to laugh more, guys. So, you can find reasons to laugh by smiling. So, when you wake up in the morning, what I do is I drink a glass of water, I do my meditation, but I actually smile. Because the feel-good sensation actually comes through. So, that one little smile will change a whole... It changes your day. But especially if you're walking down the street like me smiling to everybody that that's a gift that smile of yours is a gift to a stranger you don't need to say anything it's just through that visual of you smiling and it's contagious that smile you put onto somebody else it makes their day as well so when you smile they'll react and smile as well and they might give you like this weird look going why is she looking at me <laughs> I get those looks too so don't worry <laughs> Oh my goodness, sorry, I'm having visions now. So the other uh, ways to laugh more is to be around fun, playful people. And that in itself is a good high to be around. So if you're around friends who like to make jokes or just, just in a playful scenery, in environment, of course you're going to be playful. Of course your body's going to want to... To be attracted to that and and that helps you change the way you see things and end of life too because these happy people are really happy you might think they're crazy but they're really really <laughs> they're usually very happy and because of the aura the energy they actually give out why not take that in so that's why I have friends who come over my house knock on the door go Fong I'm having a bad day can I just you know hang out with you I'm like yeah sure that's fine they usually have a room to themselves and they just sit there and they just do their work or they have 
sit down and talk with me you know my house no judgment this is a house of peace and happiness and I don't allow any judgments in this house nobody's allowed to talk negativity in here so when they do have a chat with me what comes out of it is laughter in the end because I try to switch the brain break the um, sequence and turn it around that's what I do but being realistic about things as well taking that into effect but the end goal is the positive outcome because positivity is my top five strengths on the Clifton assessment so spend more time with me people that are fine and playful which is like me <laughs> call me <laughs> oh, okay moving towards laughter when you hear people laughing join them Laughter is highly contagious, so that's really going back to spending time with fun and playful people. But if you hear laughter somewhere, when I join in, introduce yourself and join in the fun and share some laughter. I mean, that's a communication that's universal, just laughing together. Watching comedy. So here in Australia, there's some comedy shows. And my girlfriend, who, which I'm very fortunate, gives me free tickets to the comedy show every Friday, which I'm usually not available on Friday nights, but when I do go, I'm literally in the audience. You can hear my laughter out the door. <laughs> and I'm literally in tears, but I love it. I love going to these comedy shows, understanding all the different jokes, and also it gives me up-to-date economics and politics and whatever's happening around the world. And that amuses me and amazes me but um yeah why don't you just sign up to a comedy show go to one take your friends and just have some fun some laughter there's no judgment there right uh here's another one reading funny books or comics start each day with a funny quote or a cartoon that's one way to get yourself in a laughter fit mode i suppose you have to find something that you really like and that you enjoy and that will put you in a state of laughter what will put me in a state of laughter at times is hearing my brother laugh. And my brother is super funny, if you know him. He tells jokes and he has this laughter that is super contagious. But you know it's his laughter. So I'm usually on the phone and then somebody would call and what would happen is, is that your brother? I'm like, yeah, can we go back to our conversation now? And they're like giggling and laughing on the phone because I know it's my brother. But my brother, what's so funny is is that he'll tell jokes, but he'll laugh at his jokes. And we're sitting there not laughing at his jokes, but laughing at his laughter. So, <laughs> so my brother and I uh, have this this sister brotherly laugh that everybody knows. That's that's high sister, and that's Fung's brother. Like everybody just knows that we're definitely brothers and sisters. So we have a very distinct laughter. <laughs> so next time you guys see me. Out on the street, please say hello. Please share a joke. Please be, please, it, like, even if you're not in a happy high mood, I'm happy to share any laughter, any jokes, which I don't think I have any jokes, but I'll turn the mood into a positive one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my laughing session. Well, ways to laugh or why laughter is actually very good for you. But Share with me a joke, it could be a dad's joke, it doesn't matter. Um, share with me anything that you find funny of the day. I would be, I would love to laugh at the, these things because I'm all about positivity and sharing any knowledge around. So, thanks guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> now, oh, can you, do you have a joke? Um, you, you don't have a joke? No, I'm not very good at jokes. You're not very good at jokes. Don't you know any knock knock jokes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, show. So that's a joke, so do share. Go on. Knock knock. Who's that? Dragon. Dragon who? In my pocket. Dragon in your pocket? <laughs> Where's the dragon in your pocket? How's that a joke? <laughs> 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 <laughs>